The North is cruel, but sometimes it is giving. We have seen so much bloodshed in this land, fighting Parthians and fellow Greeks. For now, the Parthians are quelled, but I do not trust them. One lost battle, and they can rise as easily as they have bent the knee. But in regards to Bactria, I must admit, when great Antiochus the Builder sent mountains of gold to the north to build barracks and armies, I often wondered why. Our land is sparse and harsh, and we could have defended for such a small cost. But now, marching through the lands of Bactria, I understand why. This land is rich, full to the brim with gold and silver, mines and trade with the Far East. And the people here, they embraced being Greeks. For Greeks have given them prosperity. So although I wait to defend Kauris from Bactria, if given the opportunity, we shall march. For there is gold to be found. And when there's gold to be found, there's fame and fortune to be won. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our RIS version 0.5 Seleucid so campaign. And we are doing very well. I've just literally counted all the settlements we're not building in. And we are only not building in 22 settlements, guys. 22. That is it. We are building everywhere else. And we have, what, 177? So we're doing pretty well. Definitely that rush for uh, corruption reduction with all the execution squares is doing very, very well. But first of all, a couple of big announcements I've got to make about the campaign, about um, our uh, RIS content as well. The first one you might not like so much, the second one you definitely will be excited for. So first of all, guys, let's talk about the intros. By episode 35... There will no longer be any more intros for these episodes, apart from when big things happen, like a new king, etc, etc. Pretty much just so that we can finish this campaign off before RIS version 0.6 releases. I'm thinking at this point we probably need to get to episode 50. And if I do the intros, it'll be another half a year, guys. So, yeah, we really don't want to leave this campaign lagging. I really do want to get it finished uh, and, you know, restore Alexander's empires. We've not even got into Greece yet, and that's going to make us really even richer. So, yeah, we need to get that done uh, as quick as possible. Uh, and on uh, another note, a good note <laughs> on the other side of the coin, from the 11th of August, guys, the 11th of August, every single weekend leading up to release, there is going to be developer diaries, uh, interviews, feature videos on all the features that are going to be in version 0.6 on all the updates. And that is going to be both days of the weekend, most weekends, and have interviews with the mod team and all that sort of thing. Deep dives starting on the 11th with a brand new map showcase, guys. And then when we get closer to release, we've got some very, very special videos coming up. Let's just say, if you like the campaign intros, you'll really like those ones getting ready for release. So we're calling it RIS Weekends, so make sure you subscribe uh, if you want to get hold of those going forward. Now, over here, we are doing pretty well, I've got to say. But it's a bit weird that we've got these guys here and also these mercenary and sort of combat guys across there. So... I'm thinking we kind of scrap together some sort of army. We have very large garrisons over here, and it will, there will be a point at some point where we want to, you know, reduce those and go through all our settlements once again. But we're not going to do that in the episode. We'll maybe do that as a half episode, so you guys uh, don't have to uh, worry about that. Let's get rid of this guy at Mytilene as well. Don't need them. Uh, but yeah, we're doing pretty nicely, I've got to say. So let's uh, press that end turn. Let's see what happens this turn. And here comes a spy. Very good. Going down the coast. Even more. Uh, and we've got generals going up there because it's such a rich area now. Very rich. So much trade. Look at that. Look at those uh, 
those caravans on the road so rich so incredibly rich um so yeah really nice area for us and we just need to keep getting richer so we can build in every single settlement <laughs> which is the main thing um i kind of wish you know at the top of the construction tab so if we come down here construction report it would tell you how many places are built but you can see execution squares everywhere that's really going to help with our corruption execution squares everywhere <laughs> yep everywhere 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 very nice indeed but the main thing is we have built that armorer now in pergamon so we should be able to build the foundry which only takes five turns and that is going to be the full amount of upgrades we can do with our people and we've also got the shrine to athena in here but what we really want to do is back that up then with the shrine to hephaestus and get that built up and then we'll have full gold on all of these guys now is this army fully retrained now i believe so and key sees we don't want to remove him do we um uh, so let's get out and who's the next person that we wanted in there let's stick a cataphract in that army unless we've got anything in in here that we want uh, it's not the greatest of armies to be honest it's not horrendous but it's not fantastic either is it so a cataphract will really elevate it a bit so let's stick you and dragoras so that's on dragoras so i think yeah the three armies across this side it's probably time to take on pontus to be honest with you. Uh, and the way we're going to do that. How are we going to get through Pontus then? I mean it's kind of good. I think the best thing is to go for a sort of two pronged attack. So we'll bring Andragoras around this way. No, no, no. Ah, well we've sent him the wrong way now. I think we go this way instead. And uh, we go straight into Gangra over there. I know they're allies. But yeah. I am kind of want to bait them into attacking us as well let's get okay hello uh this guy who's in that fort though i don't think anyone's in that fort have you got space for an elephant yes you do remember we want that elephant to die <laughs> um and we've also got you so let's bring you around which army should we attack with i think we attack with the worst army uh the worst army first and see whether we can do as much damage as possible with them Let's take the fort. Ah, okay. They've got these boys here as well. So that's actually blocking them. They might actually attack us. They've got naked warriors. They will have a really good unit roster in there. Um, so I think we go for the second army, Tarkondarius the Handsome. But before we do that, let's uh, make sure we do all our, our town stuff. So Thebes has upgraded. That's nice. Let's get Zadrakart has actually upgraded. Cool. Nice. Sardis has upgraded as well. Definitely worth getting that in while we can. We've got loads of coming of age. Arifron over here. Uh, and I think we'll leave you actually in uh, in Apamea Siticana. And my Theon as well. So probably worth a my Theon coming up into this region like we've talked about. It's very rich. Got a lot of, uh, lot of trade over here. So I'm thinking we might as well just send you up to Gauzana, honestly. Or Nikephoron would actually be quite good. So where are you, Amytheon? Let's go for Nikephoron. So that one nearly gets there all the way. And have we got Diodotus yet? When is he coming of age? Xenocratis over here in Tagai. Uh, you don't need to be there, actually. So I'm kind of willing... I think we should stick you up maybe in Bizpoutis. I know it's not very rich, but it is unstable. So a governor will definitely help out with that. So let's stick you... Uh, Antipatros the Lude. What a, what a great man. And then our spy has died in the north. Oh, God. No, not the spy. No. Uh, and the Ludii have become the most advanced faction. Are you taking the piss? We are building in hundreds of <laughs> more than a hundred settlements okay yeah uh, Bactria is actually backed off from there so i don't know why they've done that 
But that's absolutely fine. While we're here as well, let's stick in a watchtower there. Just so we've got a bit more vision on the area. Uh, and then let's see where we want to go with this army up into the north. Looks like their army's across here. Looks like they're bordering... Like, they're, they're looking at Parthia. Yeah, that's Parthian land. I mean, it's this settlement, so it doesn't look like Parthia. I mean, Parthia's big armies are down here. They need to really attack Bactria for us. That would be good. But, yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to do that anytime soon. Uh, but we've also got this. Okay. They actually left here to come and attack us. And that's fantastic. I am very happy to take that as a defensive battle. Right, this army. Let's get you uh, out of here. Adimanthos, the man who's leading these northern armies. is a glorious commander. And uh, stick one of you in there. Let's hopefully that will be enough. Because these places are all Greek now. Okay, two then, I guess. These places are all Greek now, which is fantastic. Uh, which is really good for us, to be fair. Um, so let's go straight up to Oxiana, which doesn't even have roads yet. Even though it's probably an incredibly rich settlement. Yeah, 4,500 gold. Like, these settlements, the mining in these places is just ridiculous. So, yeah. Really nice settlements. Very, very happy to take them over. <laughs> take them from Bactria. Uh, and fill this area with Seleucids. I mean, we did that already, and then they betrayed us. So, yeah. I'm not very happy with the betrayal. And already, you know, we've only had this settlement a few turns. And it's 3,400 gold it's making. I think in Nautaka as well, 100% roads is going to be very good. It's saying only 68. But over time, that trade is going to really, really ramp up and help out. Uh, while we're here as well, again, another watchtower if I could. But unfortunately not. So that's fine. Uh, we are just recruiting these boys as garrisons. That's good. Let's keep that up. And then these boys are all garrisons up here as well. Lots of archers as garrisons in the north. But that is absolutely perfect. Now, in terms of down here... Yeah, we've got to get all the way there. I'm really hoping we don't get killed. <laughs> that would be so depressing if we got this army got killed by someone. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Right. Uh, over, let's get over here. And we'll stay in that fort, baiting them. Love a bit of baiting. And where are the rest of the boys? Yeah, you're coming round. Let's get you round there. Uh, and then, yeah, we got the guys moving. So you can actually go in there and get retrained now as well. Uh, and what do, we, what do we want to build here then? So we're building the Neocretans in there. So we've got the Neocretans. We've got those. We'll have four cataphracts. So we need to build another cataphract, don't we, to fill that space. Um, we've got the Reformed Swordsmen. So I think it's the Agira Speeders really now that are our best option. Because uh, we've got these guys, which are fantastic flanking soldiers. So we've got 4, 8, 12, plus a general, 13. So we need 7 Agira Speeders minus... Yeah, we need 5 Agira Speeders, really. So we'll go for 5. Uh, because we'll have, a, we'll have a, um, a, a scythe chariot and an elephant in this army as well, which will be pretty nice. I can't wait to show you them on the battlefield, guys. That's going to be so fun. Uh, but yeah. Looking really cool indeed. Definitely do need to go around these regions and uh, sort them out in terms of the amount of garrisons. Because we're definitely over garrisoning in a lot of this area. Yeah, really over garrisoning. So, yeah, that's fine though. We'll uh, we'll sort it out. So let's kill Tardakirius the Handsome. And another battle against the Celts, boys. This is going to be fun. Um, they've got some Celtic spearmen, swordsmen. No naked warriors, so we don't need to be worried about YouTube for once. Um, but yeah, we should just be able to just roll over these boys with our phalangites. So let's do that. I will see you there, guys. Here we are. Oh, it's a bit forested as well, which is never great. Good thing they're thin trees so we can actually see through. Uh, we'll get you guys here. Get Hypastis on one side. Hypastis on the other. 
And let's group them together. Lock their formation. Uh, cavalry, again, they don't have much cavalry, so we'll group all you boys together, but you're all going to be together. And the archers, which they don't actually have any archers, so we should skirmish with them as much as possible. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're over there. What are they doing? <laughs> don't run. Let's, uh, let's think about this carefully. Let's get... You boys there. Archers, you can fit in that gap in the middle, but... And then cavalry. Let's get you over here. I don't mind if the cavalry run, to be fair. But I think we should be able to force them down the hill into us. If we do this. Oh, the high passes are running, actually. How far behind are the phalangites? Very far behind. But I'm hoping they don't move too much. Uh, it's a bit scary, them coming forward there. I mean, worst case scenario, we would just have to move backwards slightly. But here come the Phalangites. Very nice to see them in formation. We've got the Agira Speeders, of course, our elite Phalangites. Very nice. They're such a good-looking unit, aren't they? Here they come. Marching up towards the Celts, up a hill. Never great on the attack, the Phalangites, of course, but very good in defense. Uh, well, looks like the archers aren't going to have a good time, so let's get them back straight away. Uh, run as well. <laughs> what are these guys? The war bands, all that sort of thing. It's hard to see in this uh, in this light. Here they come. Don't believe they're naked. No, they're not naked. Good, 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 good. <laughs> they're going to come for a bit of a throw with the jabbies, aren't they? But we can start peppering them with our archers. And they don't have a lot of am uh, a lot of armor. So that's the main thing. Ah, we've got uh, we've got stuff turned off, so I'm just gonna say firing arcs when I've got them selected. And banners as well, of course. Don't lock them. Yeah, let's lock the banners. Good. Right, let's come forward with the archers again. Let's try and force them down off the hill. Sorry I'm taking a bit bit of time. But with this army really wants to be not very damaged by the time we uh, get your first volley off. Now come back. And whatever that is, that's Celtic Light Cavalry. They're going for the charge. I like to see that. Even if it takes out a few of my archers, not too bothered if they run into the phalanx. <laughs> They're just coming forward for that for that chuck and then run away again. I mean, that's fine. We'll, we'll fire at them in the back. Once this cavalry is dead, which it should be dying a lot quicker than this. Come on, guys. Are you even attacking them? Like, what are you doing? You just stood there, I guess. Do that. See what happens now. They should start killing them. Well, how hard are these guys? <laughs> Our gear speed is not even making a dent, dent in them. And they're, they're running into a phalanx. Uh, well, anyway... Let's get these boys, let's get them marching forward. Get the high pastis with them as well. And the cavalry can sweep around the sides. Oh, apparently we're right close to the map edge. Don't run, high pastis. All that. Now they're dying. Good. Good, good, good. Right, you boys, let's get here. I don't know what they're doing. Like, where are they going now? Like, what are you gonna, what are you gonna achieve from this, guys? Let's go, run now, run. High passes there. Cavalry, let's get you like up there if we can. All the ones running. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Come on, Phalangites. It's time to show your power. Taking a bit of damage on the Chalka Speeders. Then when we're in this formation, let's get there and let's march forward. Now halt. Now we're engaged in battle. Get 
the high pass this round. And then we should be able to charge them very nicely in the back. <laughs> Hate that sound. It makes me think the generals died. <laughs> Come on, Cav. Let's see what you can do here. What are they? They're just swordsmen. They should die pretty quickly. Remember, we've got to try and kill the general so that the whole army dies. Come on, mates. Let's kill him. Let's kill him, mates. Fighting to the death now, mate. Right. What's this? Have we got a high pastist in here anywhere? No, he's hiding back there. Let's go. Get there. How's the cavalry doing? There we are. Finally killed him. Let's go. Let's just get out of there for a sec. And then let's get a big charge in the back. That should be enough to really, really damage him. Go, go, go. Come on, men. I know you're so slow. You love being slow, don't you? Well, let's go for the charge now. I think that'll be enough. That'll be enough to get rid of all these guys. Yeah, mass route time. Mass route. Good. Is there anyone else? I don't think so. So, you chase them. You chase them as well. Uh, and then, yeah, these guys shouldn't be fighting to the death. Yeah, there we are. Let's continue. Kill them all. One of you there. One of you there. One of you there. One of you there. That should be everyone getting taken out. Uh, yeah, might as well go there. It's fine. Come on, boys. Nice. I mean, that was a lot easier victory than before, wasn't it? But they didn't really have any elite troops at all. Wasn't exactly the strongest army they could have put out. Uh, but yeah, good. Good, good, good. Uh, we'll let those guys go, I guess. <laughs> the survivors. <laughs> they only, yeah, we killed more than 10 times them. Good, fantastic. Good battle. And we've taken out another. That'll just reduce the amount of rebel ar Ooh, excuse me, rebel armies. But I will see you back on the campaign at map. Here we are, and fully destroying that uh, uh, that uh, that army is fantastic. And we can kind of try and bait Brogoris, who's got a that's a pretty nice army, especially Celtic wise, um, into coming and attacking us, of course. Uh, but once these Galatians are finally gone, it is time for Pontus. I do kind of want, if I could recruit a diplomat, that'd be great, to cancel the alliance with them uh, via diplomat, just so we don't suffer a massive reputation decrease with everyone else, like Armenia, for example, who we're neutral with. Uh, and we can try and get an alliance with Armenia, to be fair, uh, while we're here. Oh, we've got these guys, haven't we, to move. So that's good. I'm hoping we can start removing our good units from in here and send them back for retraining. So let's see if we can get one in there. And we'll uh, we'll assemble over in the middle of the uh, middle of the uh, middle of the area. Also got you in there, so that's fine. An archer would be ideal to get rid of into there and they're actually still happy so let's come down this way and uh, yeah we can look at you know removing these guys as well how are we doing if we do that still looks like they're happy so that's good yeah still happy still plenty happy now so yeah we need to get these guys all back to the mainland for retraining to retrain this army and then we'll launch an attack on Sparta once both of these armies are complete we shall launch an attack on Sparta and get onto the Peloponnese and reclaim land that is uh, that is rightfully ours as the true heirs of Alexander. So that is good. And we'll send you up this way. Right, let's see where else we want to build. Let's just go from the list um, and go Damascus. <laughs> Do we ramp it up to the secret police HQ? Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, Odessa, same thing. Let's have a look. 
Oh, yeah, 2,000 2, corruption at Odessa. As rich as it is, it could be 2,000 gold richer. So, yeah, definitely some more lore. Uh, Ephesus is actually really good settlement. Let's go for the... Uh, let's go for the secret place HQ then as well. <laughs> Iconion. Let's go for crop rotation in there. Tarsos. Uh, yeah, probably those mines. Or oh, the snow spice road, definitely. 474, very nice. Uh, Elusa, which is all the way down there. Let's have a look. Crop rotation is quite expensive. Let's just go for the shrine to Tyke for now. Don't really want to spend much more money on Elusa if we can help it. Uh, up here at Stakra, I think the vineyard. The vineyard is always a decent building. Alexandria Prosphasia, definitely the Spice Road while we can. Uh, Alexandria Ariana. Uh, I mean, this is a good recruitment hub over this region. Could go for the large mines, though. I know they're 8,000, but how much money would they actually bring in? I mean, there's not that much corruption up here because of the amount of military buildings. It's actually quite good. So, yeah, definitely want to get that in. An extra 700 a turn. Only 24 extra corruption from that. It's not bad at all. Uh, Adramition. Let's go for the execution square. It's not even in there yet. Alexandria Troas. Let's go for maybe the crop rotation. Raithu all the way down here. I mean, don't really want the ship right because I don't think... Oh, it might actually be able to trade up there with Arsinoclysma. Ah, yeah, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Ladokia Katakekowaumini. Yes. Yes. <laughs> let's go for the market. Uh, Antiochia Saros market as well. Uh, Deskillion. Probably the crop rotation out of all these. These are actually more expensive. I wonder whether this guy has something that makes things more expensive. So let's just go for the shrine to have Vistus. Loranda, definitely the execution square if we can help it. A Naza boss, a Naza boss. So you're over there. Uh, yeah, public baths get a bit of extra growth in some of these cities. Uh, Antiochia Meandros, that's going to upgrade soon. So something that doesn't take too long. Probably large temple of Hera, that's extra lore as well. Kiros, let's go for the sewers. Ladokia Libanos. Let's go for the Agora. Uh, Arados. How are we going to do that one then? Maybe the Dockyard, but it's quite expensive. So do you want to keep on expanding the amount we're building in each of these places? Biblos. Again, sewers for extra population growth because our population growth across the Empire is not fantastic, honestly. Um, over here, probably the Shrine to Tyke. Um, Sariesa, let's go for the Agora, even though it's quite expensive. And then Kelonai, probably the Execution Square, <laughs> yep. Babylon, definitely not the Execution Square, we don't need it. Let's stick in that Ludus Magna, so we can get some very good people. And Nikophorion, let's go for the Shrine to Taiki. So, yeah, I think, don't think we've got anywhere else to move, have we? No, not you. You guys have moved. You've moved. Um, ship's moved, hasn't it? Yeah. And then we've moved around this region as well. So, let's stick that end turn on again. See where we get to. Fantastic. Oh, you're kidding. We won! Oh, that is lucky we got a good roll on that one because otherwise we can't we would have been screwed there oh here comes the batches wow they've actually got more troops in the city than i thought originally to be fair but how come wait how come the their second army isn't coming in but this makes life so easy they've got some battery and cataphracts which fair play to him is very good but this should be so easy. Why, why is that second army? I guess because they're not next to them. I don't know. That's weird. But I'll see you on the uh, battle map anyway, guys. Hi, guys. So I made a little oopsie. 
I went away to get a drink. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I forgot that uh, that uh, draw out battles start instantly. I wish they didn't, honestly. I wish there was just a start button because stuff like this could happen. Um, so we're not actually prepared at all. Honestly, this is fine. Um, let's get our uh, horse archers. I think we should get them like here, firing in. And we'll get our cataphracts over here with the general. The horse archers can stand up in, in melee as well because we've got the uh, Persian noble cavalry. Uh, you guys get rid. You guys get rid. You guys can go like... Well, once you've got rid, you can go there. Now let's pause. Now everyone's dropped the rams. Get you guys behind as well. There, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Sorted ourselves out. <laughs> oh, well, that was silly, wasn't it? I'm glad I came back when I did. Um, but yeah, just got a coffee and... <laughs> oh, it started. I mean, it's not too much of an oopsie, to be fair now. We look okay, don't we? Let's get you guys forward, probably. Don't want to take too much damage from the, the walls and stuff. That's the main thing we want to avoid here. Um, but yeah, let's send, and let's bring the horse archers up behind. The horse archers are very good. Oh, they're already routing those boys. So yeah, the horse archers should be doing some serious damage in here now. We've got Bactrian Theroperoite. Let's go there. Let's get these boys in behind. Now, this one's going to be a bit of a, a bit more of a messy one. Uh, but yeah. Get you guys there. Let's get our cavalry out as well. Remember, we've got to try and kill cataphracts here as well. I've they've not seen them yet. Unless that's them there. Here they are. Looking awesome. Yes! Oh, sorry, love cataphracts. My favorite units. <laughs> or at least some of my favorite units, anyway. I, I've got a soft spot in my heart for heavy cavalry and heavy infantry. Anything that's heavy, okay? <laughs> Soft spot in my heart for. Right, let's uh, let's have a go at them. Let's rally while we can, though, as well, so we don't lose the general. They should not like this. <laughs> there we are. Broken. Kill all of them. Uh, let's fight them. How are we doing here? Killing the Theroperoi. Nice. They're not... Yeah, they're just literally all going to die. Good. What have we got in there? Just messes of people. Uh, right, let's go and deal with them then. And I think we just don't worry about the walls firing at us, to be honest. Don't think it'll be too much, too bad. I mean, the Bactrian, the Bactrians actually have some pretty strong infantry, if I remember correctly. I mean, we should be able to chase these guys all the way back. But by doing that, we're, we're exposing ourselves to the cataphracts. Uh, but I would like to kill as many of them as, as possible, really. But now, let's come out now. And uh, let's get these guys to face the cataphracts. Uh, you guys here, I guess. And then horse archer cataphracts. <laughs> let's get you uh, up there, ready to kill them. Should be, should try and get out of the range though, to be fair. Uh, these guys, don't worry about that. Let's just go over this way, I guess. Here come the last hoplites. Um, and you guys, let's bring you forward. We should not be too bad about fighting those cataphracts. Shouldn't be too bad. And then we should hopefully have routed everyone. Oh, those guys are going to come back. That's a bit annoying. I don't know what they're doing. The cataphracts. They're, they're going right up against the wall. They're charging the wall. Die, wall, die! <laughs> they want to go after us. That's fine. I just don't want to lose my general, of course. Big U Minus. He's been through a lot, hasn't he? Keep coming back. Yep, yeah, keep coming back. And now, we'll go after him. Oh, they're getting shredded by our archers. Good. That's what we like to see. Keep coming. Keep coming, boys. Keep running away. 
And we shall catch them. Because their cataracts, they're so slow. And then, bang, let's go. Especially the median boys. The noble cataphracts. They're going to shred these boys. Nice. How are we doing infantry-wise? We should be able to get rid of these guys quite easily. Uh, you boys. Just go down there. Get rid of them. Nice. Uh, you guys. Let's bring you around this way. We killed them all. Good. Just go on the big charge. That's all we need now. Keep going. If we can route everyone. There we are. Fantastic. We've taken the city. 195 they inflicted. We killed a lot more. Very good indeed. The city is ours. Fantastic. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. Bactra, Zariaspa. A big settlement for the Bactrians. Let's enslave. Bang. Straight in there. Enjoy that, you fools. This is our land. Rightful Seleucid land. We invested in this region. We sent you settlers. And you chose to betray us. And that is what you get. For some reason, we've finished on this spy. Come on, mate. You can make it all the way down here, can't you? He's not really seen much, has he? Poor, poor fella. <laughs> what, 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 why? I told you to go there, okay? Uh, two cities expand as well. Apamea Zugma. Nice. It's good not getting a huge amount of these all the time because, uh, of course, they are uh, a bit annoying. But to mess us, they take a lot of money out of your coffers uh, when you're building them a lot. So, But we do want more population growth, of course. The bigger the city is, the more tax income we get, the more trade goes through the city. Lots more execution squares going in. So, again, we're up to 119,000 again. <sighs> tasty. Tasty bit of uh, tasty bit of cash there. Very nice. Um, and once we get up to the next level, we'll actually be able to recruit properly in Sardis again, which is good. So we should be able to, uh, you know, have these two areas recruiting pretty nicely. Same thing across here. Let's get the Royal Barracks in Smyrna so we can recruit infantry from Smyrna as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty tasty. Pretty nice. Uh, they didn't actually attack there. So I'm wondering... I mean, this is a really good army. So I'm, I'm confident we can beat that full stack with this army uh, if we want to. So let's get that. Uh, yeah, they're happy. Let's get these three guys in there for now. And then the rest of these boys let's get you into the army. And we should be pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, still happy. And we should have enough to garrison Polyrenia when we're done. And yeah, we'll, uh, well, we might as well move this army across to close, closer. Probably onto this port. And that is everyone, isn't it? So, yeah, so it's six spaces. That's six. Fantastic. So it is everyone from that army. So we'll bring the... Ships across as well, our big fleet. They can go there. They're going to go back for retraining. And then when this army is done, we'll be ready to invade Greece. Uh, we do need a few more ships, though. So let's get a few triremes. A couple of triremes there. A couple of triremes in here. Let's just recruit all around this region. A few triremes everywhere. Two turns and we'll have eight. And that should be another. So we'll use both of those ships. We'll come across dock here. Then we'll go on to Sparta. And finally start our war. Are we still at war with the Antigonids? That's what I want to know. Uh, doesn't look like it. I think our diplomat died that was coming up here, didn't he? Uh, but that's fine. Don't want to go to Thrace, like I said. Not bothered about that. What I want to do, take the Peloponnese and just go north. And just scour this land. Of these pompous Greeks who don't believe we are true Greeks. We are the true heirs to Alexander, of course. Um, so, yeah, we want to take that. Take that land very nicely indeed. Now, do we want to fight this battle? Or do we want to... I think, again, same thing. We want to take the city in the battle. This army is a bit damaged. I'm not going to lie. I didn't realize it was this damaged. Oof. Actually, quite damaged, to be fair. Um, 
So yeah, we want to take it in the battle. Whereas they've got not very damage. But I do want to do a defensive battle will be so much better with such a damaged little garrison. So let's keep on moving from Bactra Zariaspa if we can. Uh, what do we want to do with garrisons though? That's the one thing. <sighs> That's why we need these boys. Uh, but for now, I'm happy to leave behind, like, say, you. Get in there. So, 35. It's not very many. It's only 19%. If we go to low, 54. Let's do the same thing again. Let's merge. Merge. Another 8. I don't think that's going to really make much difference, but we'll stick it in anyway. Uh, yeah, still 54. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Let's just try and, like, get maybe a little bit of a smaller one, like a 70. I do want the archers. That's the thing. I do still want the archers. Only 59%. Well, I guess we'll have to leave the archers behind then. But we know that these guys are going to go back for retraining. But I think we can take all these Bactrian settlements... Uh, with the remainder of these armies. Whatever's left of them. And I can even recruit mercenaries if necessary. Not not at the minute. <laughs> but we can do. Uh, so in terms of where Bactria is. I know they've got those two settlements in there. But you have to come through this land. So let's just keep on marching. Let's go straight up to Daraspa. And let's build a watchtower over here as well. So we can see what's going on. And we can see all the gold in here. Very rich. Very rich area. This this area has silver and gold mines. Does that mean it gets two different mines? Or is it just one mine? No, 2,000 gold from income. It's making 4,400 already for us. That is obscenely good. That is really good. Uh, but I think, you know, we can take out Bactria in the south with the remainder of these two armies. Then retrain and come north. Once again, I'm kind of willing to uh, to wait in Maracanda for a second. Um, let's leave out like 14 of those boys. We don't need those 14, do we? Uh, so let's leave them out. And let's sort these boys as well. Good. Perfect. Uh, and let's wait for them to attack us. They like to do that, don't they? And then run away, so... Well, they might not fully attack us, but that is absolutely fine. So, over here, what have we got going on? We're sieging down. You're in the port, uh, fort, should I say. Uh, we've got our cataphracts and elephants on the way as well. Mm, I'd prefer you to go around the back. <laughs> Just because it's a bit of a uh, safer route. I don't want to get attacked by Pontus while we're down there. Whereas you guys, you're going to come right up to the border and see what we can do in that regard. You've got one cataphract as well, which is pretty nice. And let's see what we can do building-wise then this turn. Uh, actually, no, before we do that, let's make sure we move these boys uh, it's all the way down to there. So this time I am going to actually get them off the ships and put them back on. Uh, because, yeah. We can't afford to risk losing those troops. They're very nicely experienced as well. So I think once we've taken this... Uh, it's only a large town. If it was a minor city... We could uh, then go down the coast and start taking some of these settlements. Some of them down here. It would be better to go down the Nile though. There are some better settlements. And they all trade with each other up and down the Nile. So it would be better to just follow the Nile down. But for now, that's what we're, that's what the plan is. Um, anyone else apart from the people on Crete? No, two more turns. Like I say, not really bothered about rushing that because we're waiting for this army to get finished first. Um, and when it's finished, then we'll be ready to go. So, let's press the end turn. Let's see what the Galatians do here, actually. It might be quite interesting what they choose to do. Um, but yeah. Ptolemies... It is really annoying that the Ptolemies still have ships in the Met. <laughs> When they've got no land in the med at all. Uh, nice bit of paved roads around there, though. All right, here they are. I knew this was going to happen. Good. We're going to finish on a big, big battle. And hopefully, I mean, <laughs> it looks 
pretty we look pretty outnumbered. One thing we do have Oh no, we don't have a cavalry advantage. Um They're quite good troops as well. They've got a decent amount of experience. This is gonna take all our powers to try and win this. Oh, this is going to be a really tough one. But let's have a go at it. You know, if we lose, it's not the end of the world. We'll have, you know, destroyed... Oh, my God. He's not very happy, is he, this guy? Let's be honest. Either that or he's extremely happy. I don't know. Either way. Either way. Uh, it's quite funny. But, yeah, very damaged army, this. Um, what we're going to have to try and do is try and take out him uh, with the cavalry. And just try and hammer an anvil. If we can take out their cavalry, then we'll win. But, again, very good cavalry. If he isolates them, though, that will be quite good for us. Uh, so, But, apparently, the people from the city aren't coming to join. Probably because it's a night battle, which is actually quite annoying. But, anyway, we shall see whether we win or lose. Probably lose, but we'll, uh, we'll have a go at it. Here we are. Unfortunately, we don't have an amazing battle map like we did <laughs> against the Ptolemies. But um, let's see what we can do. We are very weak, though, of course. We're going to keep the Theroporoi behind, and we're going to get them to fire their javis into the enemy. Cavalry-wise, I think, you know, we, we just try and uh, use one side and try and snipe any opportunities that we can. It is dark, so I'm sorry about that. They chose a night battle. I can't really do anything about that, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. Let's speed it up a bit. Let's see what they do. Coming out of the trees. Here they come. Very, very big army. <laughs> when we're fighting with a very damaged army that has been a little bit on campaign. But, yeah, not hugely experienced, unlike theirs. That's probably been experienced from some temples, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do here. Looks like they're going, you know, around the right hand side. We'll just have to uh, adapt to what they do. Music's just gone for some reason. Where have you gone, music? It was nice. Oh, changing the music, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they can go around the right hand side if they want. I am kind of hugboxing a bit, but not massively. Uh, where is the edge of the map? It's there. So, yeah. You know, what are they doing? Cool. This song is... This track is sick. Let's go with that. And then Theroporoi. Same thing. Right behind the main lines. This time, because the right-hand flank's pretty much protected, we can get our cavalry on this side. And uh, let's see whether our guys get in place quick enough, which I think they will. There we are. Very nice, boys. Our archers should be firing. God, how... Like, this is the... <sighs> these, these Greek archers are truly bad as archers go. Don't want fire arrows. Fire arrows do less damage, guys, in the long run. So they're only there for morale effect, basically. So don't use them if you're not using them for morale effect. They are just going to go for the big try and overrun, which is fine. That's better for us, actually. Got to be careful of their Javi Cav because, remember, those Javi Cav have done some serious damage to us in the past. Let's get further back so we don't hit our own men too much. Um, and let's, like, try and come in here, really. The Cav. Now, this is it. Us versus them. That's what it's going to be. Straight up fight. What are they? Theroporoi. I don't know where they're going and why they're going over there. But that's not ideal because I want to uh, charge over that way. See if we can get the mercenary agent cab anyway. That's their main general there. The phalangites should be able to hold out okay, to be honest. But let's, uh, let's reinforce them. With these boys. Ah, oh, goddamn. Get in there anyway. Let's overrun this general. Don't worry about the Theroporoi too much. He wants to bring his general through. That's fine. We'll come out the back. Let's go. Let's get out the back then. Let's run through him. Didn't kill many of them. 
<laughs> of their general then, which is a bit shit, really. Uh, let's go. Just go. Stop stopping. It's really annoying. Well, their general's gone for the charge. If we had a bit more open space, I'd definitely go for another bit of a charge. It looks like we've taken a lot of damage from the goddamn mercenary Asian cav, so we want to get out of their range, really. Uh, and then we'll uh, surround the Bactrians. Let's go, boys. Surround him. That's their main... That's one of their generals, not their main one. Their main one is there. Fire at them. Uh, don't run away, I guess. You're just going to have to take it right now. So how are we doing, then? Killing this general's bodyguard quite well. Now let's kill the Prodromoi. They're going for the charge. We'll ch counter-charge them. And we should manage to get the Prodromoi dead pretty quickly. Don't want Adimanthos to die, though, remember? Never want Adimanthos to die. Let's get straight in the Greek Slingers, then. Looks like his general there. Gone for a charge against the Phalangites. He could kill himself in that. That's what we're hoping for, anyway. If we could get the charge in the back of him now, I think we'd be in a pretty decent situation, to be honest. So let's leave the Greek Slingers for a bit. Come on, boys. Let's go. If we could get the back of that general's bodyguard, that'd be fantastic. We're going to have to charge through the Akontistai. Shouldn't be too much of a worry to do that. So let's go. Come on, boys. Let's go. Through the Akontistai. Okay, looks like they don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, kill the Akontistai then, for God's sake. You are useless sometimes. How? <sighs> God damn it. Really struggling now. I think we're going to go. I think we're going to die. Let's rally. Rally the men. Keep them happy. And yeah, let's try and go for that Bactrian general. So we've only got 10 men left now. Should be out of the range of these guys. So let's go for it. That general's bodyguard's only got four as well. Yeah, I just don't think we've got enough. Not quite enough. Well, let's try and kill the general anyway. That'll be the best thing we can do. He needs to die. Don't think we've managed to get through to them. Fire at the general. Fire at the general. You've come back. Go kill the general. You've come back as well. Go kill the general. Let's move you guys here. So that's one of their units. Let's go. Come on. Charge the general. Come on, kill him. Don't know where he is. He's there. He's there. Come on. Kill him, boys. Right, we'll get out. Don't want to lose all my cavalry just yet. Yes. Okay, that's it. That will help out a lot. Remember, the Greek Peltas are not too bad. Let's get off. Let's just get off. Let's just go, 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 go. Just get out of here. They're still very eager. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to get any mass routes in here just because the generals died. Rally. Yeah, we don't want you charging in there straight away. Big charge. Big charge. Yeah, they're still just eager. They're still eager. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to beat these guys, I don't think. I mean, they're shaken. So if we could, like, maybe get a bit of a cheeky little charge in the side of these guys. Concerned about exposed flanks. Yeah. And we're still... Well, when I say holding, we're not really holding there, are we? <laughs> oh. So we've got one route off. If we could then get... These guys are still all eager. If we could get another route, that would be good. The Thorakitai are a very good unit. Let's go for those Bactrian Hoplites. Yeah, they're unhappy for a lot of things, so I think a charge might... Come on, shaken. Still, it's just not enough. Glad to see enemy routing. What about your own troops? Your own troops are routing too, my friend. Uh, yeah, it's just... We just didn't have enough infantry. Their infantry's fully just overwhelmed us. We would need a lot more cavalry than this, I think. Let's go back for the Hoplites. Rally again. I think we I think we retreat. I think we retreat. Uh, we do have this unit over here, though. But, yeah, no, it's definitely not going to be enough. 
can't withdraw. We can't withdraw. So we've got to get to the point where all our guys are routing. Why can we not withdraw? Was it an unwithdrawable battle? I don't think it was. They attacked us. But we can't actually withdraw right now. So we'll just try and do as much damage as we can for now. Uh, you guys get there. Yeah, we're, we're, we're screwed, really. I just kind of want to leave these guys in until they start routing. Hopefully, Adimanthos doesn't die. Hopefully, he routes very soon. Come on, Adimanthos. Run away, my friend. Still eager. Still eager. It's because Adimanthos is such a good general. But I think surely... Yep, he's routing now. Good. Good. Run away. Run away, my friend. Run away. Run away. Run away. <laughs> How many did we kill, anyway? We killed half the army. It's just... Oh... We were just overwhelmed. We just didn't have enough infantry to really make any impact. I wish these guys could retreat now. Imagine if this army got fully destroyed because it thinks they can't retreat. That would be annoying. But, yeah, shouldn't happen, really. So, yeah. You guys need to route. Please route. Please route. Come on. <laughs> route for us. Yep. Yeah. Oh, just too much. Too much. Oh, God. These guys. Just route. You Shoot. Come on. You're really risking a lot here by coming back from routing. Oh. Well, we actually killed more than them. We just didn't have the troops. Very even armies, of course. Very similar styles. So when they've got, you know, nearly double the amount of troops that we started with, it was always going to be a long shot. Uh, but luckily, Adimandos survived. So hopefully he can go back, reform his army, and bring back the fury anew. Uh, and that has really damaged their army. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And we did escape, I guess. It sounded like we did when we came off. Uh, obviously, the archer's not escaped. So poor archer. Uh, right, let's have a look. Where did we run to? Here? Nope. Not Bactria Zariaspa either. Uh, did we run anywhere? No. How? How were we not allowed to retreat from that battle? That was weird. Like we were sieging down the city. I know that. Were they blocking us off, or oh, maybe because? But they attacked from that side, so we should have been able to retreat from there. If I'd known we'd not been able to retreat, I would have 100% um, came and moved, uh, run away from them to start with. But anyway, not much we can do about it now, is there? Uh, right. You're 58, so I think we'll uh, get this young boy in there. Olympus. You have to go quite a long way around to get there, actually, to Naukratis. Uh, Alexandria's 49. Nearchos, where are you? You're in up here. That's quite cool. Uh, I've actually got a few guys around here. Nice. Uh, yeah, very, very poor settlements, though. Uh, I think you should go for Gabai. Yeah, let's go uh, govern in Gabai, my friend. Right in the center of our sort of eastern edge of our empire. Governor's died there. That's fine. More cities are expanding everywhere. Katayon. We made over 120,000 last turn. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we need it, like I say, about 200,000 probably-ish. Got rioting in here. Uh, let's get that straight away. That should bring it up quite nice. And if not, we'll have to build another, another shriny. Uh, but that's unfortunate. Adimanthos. Oh, look at those <laughs> execution squares. <laughs> Adimanthos was our was our boy in the east. Who is going to take over from him? I guess you mean us, probably. Uh, but yeah, let's get out of Maracanda. We've got Carpet, Antiochus, and Perdicas. Well, let's take Carpet and leave Perdicas in there. Uh, and does he manage to uh, keep the settlement happy? 
He does. Nice. Good. And this will be a big, big battle as well. But luckily with this army, we've got a few nice units of cavalry. Uh, now, is this Bactrian land? No, this is ours. So, let's build a watchtower along the way. Out there. Should be good. So, we can see the land, guys. We can see the land, finally. Uh, and let's go for Kiropolis. We will have to fight this army. Uh, luckily, not as big as the last army we fought. And we did really damage that army. So, that's one good thing. Uh, wait, let's come down here. I think, honestly, Eumenus' army, very nice. A decent army. With that cavalry, I think we'll be okay against this one. So, let's go Daraspa. Darapsa? Then we'll come back around. That does mean we kind of need to re start training another army in here. Or in uh, Alexandria Prosphasia. But do we, though? That's the one thing. I think let's go for some Thorakitai. Uh, let's not queue it all in just yet. Uh, so we've done our movements up here in the north. Is there any more mercenaries across here that would be good? No, not quite. Uh, movements down south. Let's do that then next. Get back on the boats, my friend. And then let's come off here. We could actually go... We could actually probably just march to... Uh, to there now because yeah they've got a they've got a bit of a navy <laughs> two turns come on really <laughs> it's not that far bro not that far uh now in the far north up here if we actually siege this down does the second army come in it does but they actually can't move Oof, that's i think that must be a spawned in army yeah it's a spawned in army that they'll get. So I think we wait and see what they do, really, is the main thing. Because I, you know, I want to take a defensive battle there if I can and just defend with the Phalangites. Going aggressive against the Celts, attacking the Celts directly, I don't think is a very good idea, honestly. Uh, so do we with, with Andragoras? Do we want Andragoras? I think Andra the Pont Pontus is coming. So, I think Andragoras can be the one that deals with the east. These two armies can deal with... One of them can go after Her Heraclea Pontus. And the other one can go after Gangra. Uh, but that looks like to be a bloody, bloody, bloody old fight. Uh, if I do say so myself. Where is the cataphracts and stuff? Okay, they don't want anyone in there. We'll go around to this way. And, uh, yeah... Well, reinforce these armies, I guess. I mean, they're pretty nicely reinforced anyway, but... <laughs> Elephants and cataphracts can always help, can't they? I mean, worst case scenario, we just get rid of them uh, and s put them in a new army. Uh, so you guys get on there. And these guys will be good. So yeah, pretty nice. I think that's all our troop movements that we need to do right now. So... Let's get back to building. We've got 100,000 to play with this turn. Very nice. Do we go secret police HQ in Antioch? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Antiochia Migdonia. Probably not secret police HQ. Let's go for that extra trade income in there. Arbella. Let's go for the standard execution square. I know you're re relatively close, but you'll still probably have a few issues. Uh, we can actually get some extra... Oh, no, that's just happiness. I thought it was a law. Let's just go for the temple, then. Uh, Uruk. Let's go. Just a standard execution square. Although, Uruk won't have any corruption, will it? So, no. Pointless. Let's go for the... Could go for the Ludus Magna. I think the Ludus Magna is a good option. Get our guys trained up very nicely in this, in this region that's so rich. It's definitely worth it. That's why we'll go for the Scriptorian there as well. Sagalassos. Let's go for the Secret Police HQ. Uh, Elusa. Let's go for maybe the Market. Yeah, Market seems fine. Europas Ragai. Let's go for the Spice Road. Definitely. Goodbye. Uh, 
Okay, but I shouldn't need too much of the execution square. Let's go for the... I mean, it's got no one governing it right now, so that's actually pointless. Let's go for the Lyceum. No, I thought if that was the Odeon, I'd go for it. So let's go for the Agora instead. Alexandria Carmania. Let's go for the Spice Road, 100%. Nicomedia all the way down here. Go for the Crop Rotation. Uh, Kaizikos. Let's go for the Market. Jerusalem. Very nice settlement. Let's go for the Secret Police HQ there. Uh, Seleucia Kalikadnos. Let's upgrade the ship right while we can. Uh, Daskilion. Let's go for the Crop Rotation. Kadoi. These are all making about a 1,000 a turn, which is actually pretty nice, to be honest. Kiros. Over here, let's go for the Temple of Hera. Seleucia Pieria. Let's go for something maybe a bit cheaper. Standard Execution Square, definitely. Ladokia Paralos. That looks like a Standard Execution Square as well. Biblos. Let's go for the Market. Baroya. Let's go for the Execution Square, definitely. Deliche. Like I say, guys, it is better to build... Uh, you know, like a stables for that extra 15% law, but it's it, it's just thematically It's quite nice to build other things if we have them available like the execution square So mark it in Nikephorion. Let's go for Heropolis Let's Go for those public baths get a bit more uh, population growth Secret police HQ for 1800 Wow Very very nice traits that guy must have see so look at that 2880 here um, let's go for the Shrine to Hera for that extra lore. And then Seleucia Hadiphon. Don't think the Dockyard is worth it. Uh, everything's quite cheap here. Let's go for the Standard Academy while we've got guys governing there. Uh, let's go for the Standard Odeon in Asur. I don't think it'll ever be unhappy, but you never know, guys. You never know, do you? Trying to tyke where we can as well. This one looks like an execution square. It's not. It's trying to tyke instead. Uh, Achaeus. Let's go with the shrine to tyke as well. Gauzana. Let's go for the standard uh, public baths. Public baths for some more population growth. Acrobai. Execution square. Artakana, let's go for the sewers, get that population growth going as well. Kiropolis Caducia, nice name. Let's go for the shipwright, definitely. Uh, Apamea Regiana, let's go for the Odeon just in case, because it's in a pretty bad region. Iasonion, let's go for that shrine to Tyke for that extra 10% trade income. Up here, Trader in Pasagardia, Antiochia Medias. Let's go for the Shrine to Tyke again. That'll allow us to just expend, extend the amount of money, you know, per settlement and just make it a bit cheaper. Building all these Shrines to Tyke. Uh, so, yeah, another one as well. 275 for that one. Wow, cheap, cheap, cheap. Crop rotation in there. Let's go for oh, cheap secret police HQ. Definitely worth it then. Uh, Taioki, let's go for the Odeon, just in case. Passa, let's go for the Market, or... Yeah, let's go for the Market. Uh, Biz Pausatis, if you'll let me select it. There we are. Go for the Crop Rotation. And, oh, we do have a lot of settlements that don't have buildings going on right now. <laughs> I was going to say, how close are we to fulfilling... Every settlement, but yeah, still, still far off, unfortunately. Um, we are, you know, growing our income slowly but steadily over time, which is great. Uh, but yeah, let's build some Agoras in there as well, and probably sewers in there. Isura sewers, a bit of extra health, and potentially crop rotation in there, and large city of Ptolemaeus Foynike. Let's build the stables, just so we get that extra law. And that's good. Well, I think we're going to end the episode here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.